Hi gang, Scott Davenport here, and thanks for spending a couple of minutes of your day with me. I've got a couple of quick tips for you on the Lightroom Curves tool. Before I show you that, if you haven't subscribed to my channel already, would really appreciate if you did. Hit that subscribe button so you never miss a beat. Now with this uh, tone curve, you are probably familiar with. I've done some basic adjustments to this photo. And I've got a flat tone curve. We usually use the tone curve to add in more contrast or if you're gonna adjust individual color channels. Well, a couple of things to know about the tone curve. Uh, first is with this uh, normal, like kind of default display, you have these regions that you can work with. And you can do like, let's just do a quick traditional little S curve. Uh, now the nice thing about working with the regions is you get these highlights where it kind of shows you what areas of the curve you're going to affect, you know, upper highlights, upper mid tones, you know, all the way down to the shadows. And when I drag up and down, it is just up and down. If I try to go to the sides, I can't do that way over here, but I, I can only go in the vertical direction. And that's really nice because you uh, generally want to just kind of raise or lower luminance values. Now you can also switch to a pure point based curve. So if I click on this little button here, edit point curve, I can set individual points, right, on the curve, and I can sample points with this guy here of actual tones in my photo. So as I pick different spots in the photo, I get different points on the curve. Now, uh, I like to use the point curve to do my adjustments because I get more precision. And the trick I want to show you is with the vertical dragging up and down to get those tones correct. Let me reset everything. So uh, let's go back to linear. And I want to point this out too. I'm going to go back to that region. Notice that curve is still here. You can actually double up on the curves control if you do a region curve and then do a point curve. So if you're playing around with both of them, make sure you reset them both if you don't want that whole look. Let me go back to the point curve. And uh, for the sake of argument, let's say I want to take this, uh, these kind of tones of these rocks here. So I'm going to select a point there. It just set a point on the curve. And then I want another point, um, something on the, uh, the upper mid-tones. Well, obviously the water's going to be very, very bright. Um, you know, something oh, probably up in the sky area is also too bright. Tell you what, I'll set it manually. Something to protect my curve. I don't want to go too far. All right, a couple of points there. Now, before I start dragging one of those points, I'm going to press the shift key. I'm pressing and holding down the shift key. And now, as I adjust this point, I'm only going to go up and down. If I try to go to the left, to the right, just like with that region-based tone curve, I will not be able to do that. So this is wonderful, holding the shift key down so that you can just get that up and down vertical action going on and just brighten or darken things as you want. In this case, I'd want to darken just those rock tones. I'm letting go of shift, I'm letting go of the trackpad, and now I'm all set. So that shift key, hold that down and you'll just get that luminance change. And that works for you know the other curves as well if you're doing red, blues, and greens. So the shift key and dragging up and down on that tone curve, that's the trick for this video. Hope you found it useful. If you did, let me know. Drop comments below. Got questions about photography? Drop them in the comments as well. And until next time, my name is Scott Davenport. Have fun.